Well, <laughs> okay, this is a fully uncut video, Q&A video, so okay. apologizes in advance for no any balls ups in this <laughs> and swear words and everything. So we're going to fly through these because there's been like 32 comments so far, 32 questions. Okay. We're going to fly through these as quick as we can <laughs> while having a beer. We hope you join us in having a beer as well. Um, okay, anything else we want to add before we start? No. That we're going to take a shot? Yeah, with, with each question. Oh. No, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> okay. All right, so question number one from World Wide Web. World Wide Web? <laughs> what would you rather encounter, bee-sized snakes or snake-sized bee? Uh, a bee-sized snake. Because oh. there will be small. A bee-sized... A, a bee-sized bee snake. snake. Yeah, bee-sized snake. Yeah, because yeah, a snake-sized bee would be like a mini dragon. Okay, I'm gonna yes. heart all the ones we answer because we might have to do this in a couple of parts. Okay, sure. great question. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> my question is: This is from Luke. How much grind could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog <laughs> grind? Love you guys. We miss you, Luke. We miss you, groundhog. Friend, groundhog. Well, from experience, we you, he Luke. can. Uh... Groundhog can hog a lot of ground. <laughs> yeah, he can. Especially with his sandals. <laughs> and or... his Sour Patch Kids. Yes. We know what you are capable of. Okay. All right, Ray Sides. Hello. What has surprised you the most about the trail? Reality versus planning. You go first. Anything that surprised you? everything as much planning as i yeah. did in color-coded excel spreadsheets yeah after day one it all went out the window yeah, yeah I, agree, I agree it's like a tr it's like traveling you can't plan your travel you just have to yeah. do it every day yeah. i have to say i think one thing that surprised me is that i thought the rest days would be rest days they are not <laughs> we we do more rest than on the trail probably yeah. we need to get out yeah. of town so we can recover from the town days yeah. <laughs> anything else you'd like to add no yeah we need to get better at zeroing yeah For we sure. do we do i think yeah. we need to triple zero <laughs> okay next but we're getting to canada so we are the wrong way. we are 100 percent getting to canada <laughs> Okay, Rob Old Mule, what has surprised you the most in the desert section until now and what was the biggest challenge? I already know the answer to this one. Uh, We're all good. What We're surprised doing us <laughs> with the desert section for me personally was actually how much water was there, but it was also very hot, you know. So you had water, but it's you still felt the heat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'd say the cold nights. Oh, that, I was oh, going to say that. Oh, yeah. No, I just a lot colder than I thought it would be for the time of the year. Yeah. The thing that surprised me the most, well, I knew there was going to be a, a big difference in the temperatures during the day, but to the extent that it has been, and that that is also, I would add to my biggest challenge up until now has been the cold nights really 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 flipping cold like it can, it can be well you can be you can be in a desert during the day right absolutely sweating your ass off and then at night you're like surrounded by snow and, and then you're like the michelin man at night. i am I'm michelin, no, the, the astronaut every layer yeah every layer every, yeah, layer. every night okay good question okay um okay kiwi kid question for all how does the harder sections currently compare to other hikes that you've done outside the pct or is it difficult to compare because of the nature of the through hike question for ash <laughs> australia is still i've just realized he's writing this australia is still better right haha <laughs> nah keep going you legend love you eric um so how does it how does the harder sections currently compared to other hikes uh will you go first compared to other hikes you've done I don't know, I'm just thinking compared to the other hikes, like I've never had to, just like the other question, I've never had to deal with the extremes of temperatures within one day. Um, and also I haven't really had to deal with the food carries and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like apart from the person who's asking, we did the Kalula Great Walk together. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, so that, that prepared me for this. And yes, Australia is still the best country <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Do you have anything else to add to that? Um, no, I was just going to say about the food carries because yes. I feel like that's the hardest thing leaving towns is knowing you might have to carry five or six days of food, which doesn't sound bad, but then when you put the elevation in, I feel like then that makes it a lot harder yeah. than just like a day hike. I'll say out of all the hikes, just the length of living semi-homelessness with money is long. <laughs> you know, hundreds of miles, like it's it's uncomparable to any hype yeah like we're be we're way past 
what we've ever like I've ever been comfortable with ever that is true that is true yeah absolutely okay good question okay Philip Yoho I'm curious as to how Atlas the tree Sumper got his name and how Vortex got her name I already know how Zippy got hers and um, also will all three of you come back to finish the San Ascendo portion together and if so can I join Hey, good, question. A good question. Well, go on then. No, go Vortex. Yeah, Vortex. We're currently yeah, in a is, Vortex this, right this, now. This no. is the reason why Vortex is called Vortex. This, this is <laughs> No, but I might, I don't mean to do this, but Vortex everyone into conversation, town, they get to finish the last of my food with alcohol. Kind of just like of vortex everyone it's it might good. just be a person on trail that's passing by but they at least talk to me for like 10 or 15 minutes and they can't get away yeah. it drains but, your time very quickly yeah. but no one's complaining because they haven't escaped no, we're it having fun. we're having fun and it was that or um trip advisor and vortex is my better yeah it was. i'm it's happy to be vortex yeah. okay atlas <laughs> the tree stumper previously known as atlas the titan yeah so <laughs> atlas <laughs> atlas the titan came from uh, having my dog who is named Zeus the Husky probably seen so my pack weighed a million pounds based on having his stuff his food right um, since then I've reduced my stuff yet my pack still currently weighs about 60 pounds and a lot this has been viewed by Zippy so I can't make this up. I'm the only one that witnessed this in real life. I was, I was, I wanted to take a very scenic picture and there was a tree stump, a large tree stump, huge, and didn't think it was possible, but I went to stand on the tree stump to shoot the picture and completely fell into it, disintegrating <laughs> half the tree stump. So it looked like my weight, you know, I was just <laughs> squished a tree stump. So that's how Atlas the tree stump became. And you were so, you were so confused. It was all yeah. in your face. You were like, what? I had, the world is eating me. Did not know it, it. You could do that, but luckily Zippy was right behind me, and uh, it was probably like a ten-minute laugh. <laughs> yeah, I was like basically <laughs> on the floor laughing. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. Okay, that's a good question. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, Bert and Kay. I love your videos, and it's fun to follow your journey. Thank you. How do you resupply? <laughs> do you send for the head to the next town? You're stopping by, or do you just buy things you need? Um, if you have the opportunity, wish you all good luck and lots of fun on your hike to Canada. Should have showed examples of oh our packs right now. Well, this right. this is a bit of, of yeah. You can do both things. So I boxed up quite a few things in San Diego and posted posted it to post offices along the way. Uh, most people seem to be just resupplying in towns. Like for example, you you'll walk for maybe five six days, get to a town, hitchhike, or however else you plan to get to town go shopping then yep yeah, that's your method and then get a lot of food decide i've got far too much food have an absolute meltdown on the trail and try to eat a block of cheese no one did yeah. that <laughs> ever <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah. it is i th for me i think because your taste buds change it is i think personally fun to buy along the way um right now all of our packs have at least a bag of cheese i mean a bag of cheese <laughs> a bag of chips <laughs> I don't have any cheese. <laughs> With the screaming distracted me. Sorry, a bag of chips. And then on top of our packs, at least have chips. Okay, yeah. go on to the next question. Good, good it was question. a screaming good question. Okay. A I, bag right. of okay. Okay, let's say it right. Bag of cheese. <laughs> Best wishes on your courageous journey. Thank you. Um, this is from John uh, DeVita. Um, what are the latest thoughts on the Sierra snow conditions? Are you considering flipping north? Hmm. That's a very good question. Very good question. <laughs> right now say, we skipped Kennedy Meadows, though. Yeah. I would say that currently with the snow year right now, the Sierras <laughs> has <laughs> been doable, but there's the snow melt in traversing the snow is not really the issue. It's the snow melt that's creating the rivers to to flood, you know, to levels of where they're touching the foundation of these bridges that we should not be fording. So mm. right now we're, I, I feel that we're just day by day until Kennedy Meadows and then kind of assess from there because um, it, it is, it's on everyone's mind. Yeah, um, it's, it's, I mean, I think a lot of people, a lot of people have already reached Kennedy Meadows and most of them have already flipped. Yep. Some people are going through, but like, it, it sounds like it requires like two ice axes, crampons, like serious mountaineering skills. Um, 
So yeah, we're just gonna play it by ear. Yep. Okay. One second. I'm just gonna check that. Right. Hang on. I'm gonna just do an interval. I'm just doing an interval. I'm gonna stop. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to be sure. I'm paranoid that it wasn't going. Okay, we're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Wait, our, our producer's back. Okay, I'm back. Our producer's back. back. Okay. All right. A few questions here from Maureen O'Brien. Love you, Maureen. This is who sent me um, the the, the amazing board. stuff. I know the stuff at uh, the green store. You know all the like uh, lovely yeah, stuff. Yeah, Wait, yeah. no, Brian. To no, Brian. Oh, we're, Brian. We're family. The peppers and all that. No, no, no. You know at Campo. Um, That's so nice. The oh, no, package was there. amazing. Yeah. I yeah. ate some of the candy. Yeah. Thank you. I shared it. I was very generous. Day I'm one. Besties. Okay. So, there's a few questions here. How do you keep your feet warm when walking through the snow on your trail runners? I have mm -hmm. seal skin uh, socks, waterproof socks, because none of us wear waterproof shoes apart from you. I do. But, but the majority <laughs> don't. No. I mean, because we want our feet to dry a little quicker. My shoes quicker. grown a gill. Oh, Look what this. happened? You, you have to lift it higher, I think. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, uh, currently no more waterproof. But people do put bread bags in their shoes, yes. I think, yeah. with their socks. and. Because what I was going to say was I have seal skin socks. I haven't worn them yet. Because every time I forget to get them out of my bag. And then I get in the snow and then I'm raging at myself. But in theory, that's what you would do. And I sent them to Kennedy Meadows. So should I go into the Sierras? Seal skin socks, waterproof socks. Seems to be the way to go. But yeah. we'll see. But otherwise, like, yeah. I mean, you're pretty warm, like, because you're walking uphill and stuff, so you do heat up. But my feet do get pretty cold. I would say with waterproof shoes, like, I don't see why I would need them because everyone yeah. else has done well the without them, with mm -hmm. micros and everything. The, the thing with the waterproof shoes is once they get wet, they just never dry. Whereas, like, the ultras and, like, the non-waterproof yeah. shoes, we walk through rivers and they're dry, like, really quick. Yeah. Like okay. the Mission Creek section. So, did you ditch anything from your pack that you brought but realize you don't need? Well, Mr. Uh, Atlas here. Oh, well, well, let's this talk about the items he reading. brought. <laughs> 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 yeah, I had an 85 liter pack that actually broke. So, I ditched a toiletry Weight kit capacity. that had lotion and a loofah and shower gel. <laughs> um, I had a speaker that was waterproof. Did you bring a speaker? Yeah. You never used it. I have like, never used it. <laughs> yeah, I had like five carabiners. I mean, I can't even think. An umbrella. Did you have an umbrella? I had an umbrella. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, for, but he to, still has his Zeus. chair. Um, I do have my flex light chair, which is the, chair's never the throne. Going. It's yeah. not going anywhere. Yeah. But I've dumped, I've since dumped, I would say things that I don't like touch every day that yeah. I use. So I noticed that that stuff that it's not worth it you know what i mean yeah well, what was That's the advice good. on what well, we had the day before we started was that you should make a pile of stuff you use kind of use and you never use so that mm -hmm. you kind of see at the end of the day what you're really not using in a week or two period yeah. but i don't i didn't really get rid of too many things maybe a few first aid cosmetic things like nose spray and all those things but <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know the mountains are dry we get a lot of nose bleeds but have you gotten rid of anything? I haven't got rid of anything apart from switching my tent. But you there's, did. there's, you got there's rid of nothing. One thing. She will never get rid of the solar you panel. Did. What did I? Oh, a GoPro a battery. GoPro a GoPro battery. battery. Yes, only because she reduced her pack. My solar panel is so good. Okay, now, uh, beside from Mars bars, uh, favorite brand, the candy. Mm, okay, go. One, one, one word, one word answer. Quick Snickers. 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 Snickers are good. King size. I would say, I don't know, like out here, the Sour Patch Kids have been quite nice, I'd say. Okay. I don't know. Anything sour. We've been really addicted to sour gummy worms. Paydays, I think we were like Oh, we like paydays. 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 Um, we Snickers paydays. with peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter m &Ms. And the, the Not Larry's Cookies, the other ones are quite good as well. Oh, yeah. The Monk Pack. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, what what did you do to save up for your PCT trip? Did you quit jobs or are they waiting for you when you get back? Go. Yes, I quit my job. I cashed everything out. I, you know, took credit cards out for safety. But basically, for about two years, I saved up. So it was when when the thought of hitting the PCT was coming to fruition. I started putting a little bit, little bit away. Made a safety net. 
but yes, I would highly suggest planning. Yeah, it is planning expensive. Ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the vortex. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not expensive. <laughs> but um, I don't really run with a budget. That doesn't sound right. But some people are very good at budgeting. But I would say you need at least six to probably ten thousand dollars if you want comfort. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you don't want a hotel room or shower which we like a lot of those items and beer and hot food, then I think you'd do it for cheaper. Yeah, so uh, in, in relation to the question, I, uh, well, I was oh, living at home. Uh, <laughs> did we quit our jobs? How do we save money? <laughs> so I was living at home with my parents, which <laughs> helped me topics. save money. And um, yeah, I have a job waiting for me when I get back. No job, nothing. I am just, I am, I am <laughs> three. This is great. Love right, it. hang yeah. on, we're still, we're still on the yes. same question because it's a oh, question. Right. Okay, is this your first long distance hike? I know it's not your first hike, but what about the others? Okay. I mean, it's, okay, so in comparison to other long distance hikes, yes, this is by far the longest. We've been <laughs> hundreds of miles, but I mean, I've done... 44 oh, plus easy. miles in the through hike and this is no comparison this is mm. this is different than a through hike it's like traveling you know yeah it is it's living it's not just hiking it's like we now this is our lifestyle we, have to we live, live here yeah. we live yeah. on the pct yes it's a lifestyle it's a really good but it's kind of cool because i feel like we're just really going from town to town like instead of thinking about it we're going 2650 miles you can't comprehend that though no. like you can't you can't think oh you know i'm only this far in you just have to think stage by stage yeah because you're like walking from big bear to cajon pass and then that's all you can think about is like you have like uh whatever it is 80 mile stretch mm -hmm. and then food and water but um yep. yeah this is my second attempt at the pct the first year i did not complete it so now i'm back but you with did an, like 600 miles yeah with amazing trail family so i feel like this year has been even better Yay. okay la last one in this question how did you form your trail family well that's bit that's easy <laughs> that's, no, don't the vortex me. and ash i feel like we've sucked everyone in well we kind of started well yeah. yana we met yana i met yana at scout frodo's as well as angry dean and Andrew and then we met on the bus on the way mm -hmm. to uh, the border and then we picked up Rob because he had a cute dog yeah <laughs> and we're like well we, yeah. we'll take Rob too <laughs> well there was this is my dog right? <laughs> there was eight of us and then now we have maybe 12 it's, it's we just keep adding between, people yeah. but um, the cool thing with me and Ash is that we went up to the border the night before yes. with just a few people so me and her bonded over that because most people see the terminus in the morning but we got to see it like in the evening so we had a, i mean most of the people we've been with have been since day mm -hmm. one yeah, to three pretty much. Very, very and claire early. popped my blister so that's how we picked that's her up we met her, yeah. yeah true friends <laughs> <laughs> since okay. she popped my blister <laughs> we've got a special question <laughs> hi zippy my question is to sir atlas the tree stumper oh, is boy. the watch oh. you're wearing a garmin instinct to solar and would you recommend it thank you p.s your videos are amazing from your number one fan dad oh. Uh, Love you, Dad. Dad? Yeah, right. that's my dad. Uh, yeah. So we this know him. isn't the Garmin Solar, but it's right before <laughs> it. It's not that good because I still have to charge it. But yes, I I have a, a tan from wearing it every day, all night, because it tracks everything. So I oh, track all my see. hikes. I have a basic yeah. watch. Just tells me the time yeah, and the day. It's just white. So you're tracking your. But I love it. I track yeah. every day. I track. I know how fast we're moving, the distance, and um, I would say it, it's a it's a tool. It's a crucial tool. Yeah. Not only do I, the Garmin tells me the time, and the date because we seldom forget <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> we always. But it has yeah. sunset, I never know what day it is. sunrise. Doesn't it know what it track your sleep though too? Your it tracks my sleep. I, I love it just because the that. sunset and the sunrise, <laughs> so I know around what time to get up, when it's going to get dark, which we just, is crucial, yeah. We just do one shout out to Mama O'Brien mm, for the package. The hey, she yeah. sent us yeah. my mom. My mom sent me out because uh, I decided to change my temp. My mom got it all wrapped out, up and she sent us some uh, pseudo cream, which you call magic cream. Pseudo cream. Magic cream. <laughs> it cures so, everything. You, think about it. It's yeah. great. But no, Mama O'Brien helped us out. Yeah, she did. Okay, next one. Right, we're getting through these rightly. Okay, yeah. this is two questions of one from Erin. Do you have any rituals planned from when you cross state lines or hit major milestones? I was actually thinking about this because uh, Scout and Frodo told us a story of when they got to the halfway point and they shaved their hair. Oh, oh yeah, I And I was saying oh, we should like dye our hair like some crazy colors Ooh, or something. Yeah. 
like the whole Shreya family with like pink hair or something. Okay, we're gonna think about that one. Okay. Okay, but I will say this is that in my family, when we cross the state when we're traveling on vacation, we give gifts to each other. So oh. you never know what's gonna come from the vortex. Yes. Okay, and, and the second part is, do you have a goal time frame in mind for how long it's going to take to reach Canada? <laughs> well, we kind of have to because, well, number one, my visa is going to end, but also you have to get to Canada before the snow arrives. So October, mid-October, the end of October, I think is usually around. Yeah. I mean, I, we're, we're a wee bit behind, but we're going to get there. We're going to oh, get there. Did. But we are, but we aren't. One beer at a time. My my date was no, we'll we'll September 20th, and that has for sure been pushed back. Yeah, but our trail legs are going to come, But guys. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No plan. Like, no, you have a plan. It's, it's been amazing for every single yeah. thing we've done. I have loved every single no second, and I would choose... I, like, I, we're still mm -hmm. making it to Canada, but yeah. if for whatever reason we didn't make on time, I would have zero regrets because mm -hmm. this has been the best yes. experience of my life. And if I was to race through the 20 mile days on my own, it would be nowhere near as good as this. Yeah. But we're going to make it. But the one thing with Vortex is that we might have a 12 mile day, but then the next day we still can do like 19 or 20. Yeah. So like we still can even it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting there. Of course we are. Okay. Next one. How easy did you find it to get a PCT firm, permit and what factors influenced the date you started? Um, I mean, we all got permits. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so permit system is pretty straightforward. You you sign up. It's a lottery. You got to get the luck of the draw. Apparently, we all did. So we hit it. But we, we all. We there's all really no thought. factor. You know, it's just sign up, do your part, be on, be on time, you know, and... and prepare for it but also well, know why we picked the date we picked but, or whatever when it comes to getting the permit it's you can eight. also hike on local permits it's I just more complicated it's so very complicated not the end of the world if you can't get a pct permit but there's uh, we'll not go on about that because there's a whole yeah. like loads of information the out there yeah. and for the date for me the date I, I didn't have a clue what date I wanted to go for, but I heard March March was really cold, May was really hot. April, towards the end of April, tends to be the best mm -hmm. time to settle. That's what I heard too. Okay, this is a question for me uh, from Dartmoor Paul. Ash, how is the Huel Foods and Green Powder working out, or have you succumbed to ramen bombs? <laughs> Do you crave fruit and salads on the trail? Have you had a ramen bomb yet? I haven't had a ramen bomb oh yet. Oh my gosh, okay. you have working not on had a cowboy camping. Bomb? Okay, right, All so right. the Huel Foods is working really well. It's not the nicest thing in the world, but I, I suggest trying them. They do them in the UK, because I know this guy's from the UK. Okay. Um, definitely order some and try it. Like, it's okay. It's really handy, because all you have to do is boil water, and you know it's got all the nutritional value that you need. So I'm still having those basically every day. The green powders, the only reason why I'm not having it every day is because it takes time, because you have to get up, you have to make it, and then you have to wash the, the container. And usually we are, we're up at 5, 5.30 and try to be out. But I am having it occasionally uh, and I, I do still think it's a good idea. Um, and I do kind of crave fruit and salads because you sort of miss the fresh food. Mm. Uh, but when we get to town, okay, I'm talking shy. When we get to town, I order a pizza straight away. That's great. You pack <laughs> it Nobody out. Nobody talked about eating Ooh. a salad. You pack it out. No, I had a poke bowl today. Look, most, I, most times we don't eat breakfast. I ate a cookie for breakfast a lot of the time. But I will say when we when we got trail magic and we had like watermelons and strawberries. We don't eat breakfast. Amazing. We just it's snack. A, no, but it's it's a it's a it's a protein cookie, right? Oh, protein. Yeah, we okay. do eat a lot of shit. Hey, look, we're we're getting through it. Right, we might not get through these all, but let's let's keep going. Okay, let's go. Okay. Right. Uh, do you dream while sleeping, oh or are you gosh. too tired, uh, or sleeping too lightly? If so, are they trail related? <laughs> No, you we go. both have good. You go. Okay, right. So I had a dream in the first week that I bit my finger off and ate it on trail <laughs> because I was so hungry. So I dream all the time. I've had dreams that there's been big bears walking through camp. I dream a lot. And you had an interesting dream the other day. I did. I 100% rarely dream. It's it's a very rare thing to happen. And the night before Baden Powell, before summoning a snowy mountain, I had a dream that I fell off a building scaffold and died. So I, I only <laughs> I told dark. Zippy like near the top, yeah. like near the summit. I was like, it was my first dream on trail right before Baden Powell. But I'll tell you what, it didn't stop. It didn't I stop. Know. I dream a lot. 
I had a dream that a bear was tickling my feet, and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know sometimes if a bear, if a bear really Could does that. Like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Flap it in the You're wind. gonna say if you, if you see a big bear butt hanging out of Stephanie's tent, you know it's there. Like, it wouldn't. Feet. It wouldn't tickle your feet. It would run. Yeah, right. That felt good. Wanna, I wouldn't want to sniff your feet. <laughs> no. It, it was your, not scared of my feet, guys. Luke but no, it had flap fun. Flapping in the wind. You guys, but I did like it in my dream. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. I have a lot of blisters, so that's why they're making fun of my feet. Okay, right here. The bear would still tickle it. Right, for Ash, what's the biggest culture shock hiking in California? Just the temperature changes. Never seen anything like it. Nothing else is is that much of a shock, other than the size of the portions. <laughs> oh yeah, the portions. They're confused by those. Yeah. I've never right. seen. Like, you order you order a small drink, and it's like this size. Oh, there's a tree. Yeah. I didn't know there was a. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, yeah. but also. They're also shocked at like our weird food combinations. We yeah. do love ranch for everything. Yeah. She hates butter. ketchup. Oh, the butter on the pancakes. Oh yeah, oh. that's weird. They it's thought like it was like ice cream. Ice cream. Stinking, stinking. Okay, uh, <laughs> stinking. From, from Chipmunk, this is the same. We'll not answer this one because it's about the CRs, but just about your experiences with the CRs. What might your crypto? So we covered that. Okay, um, what was your favorite yeah, trail know. magic? Do you know uh, what? The day, do you remember the really hot day with the cave and we came down and there was coke and cookies? Oh, yeah. Ma going to Montezuma oh, the waffles, Valley Market, the whatever. Waffles. Yeah, we had two trail magics that day, so both were amazing, but we had the best root beer of my life. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah every day. Every trail every magic trail is amazing. Magic I would say, yeah. I shouldn't say one is better than the other because everyone is, we're grateful for every single one. Yeah. Look, like, I had Sibit nice. Flats, tacos, and beer. We missed. I we got missed there. The I was the last hiker there on time for the dinner bell. You guys rolled in <laughs> just rolled after. In, it was dark. Just after. That was shout out to those that trail family because they don't advertise it, but they they did an amazing job. Tacos and beer. They did have an amazing setup. They had the whole setup for us. And that and, was Goose was in, in the setup. Mm -hmm. But we just had two amazing trail magics recently, and oh. both of them were fantastic. Yeah. Um, we had station. hot dogs, yeah, and station. we had hamburgers, and mm. I mean, the and first the, gentleman, um, he had never done trail magic, and he did an amazing job. So yeah, shout out to him because he said he's going to follow the channel. Okay, so. but yes, he did so good. And yeah. then, Thank you. But we appreciate anything. Anything is trail magic. Anything. Okay. All right, we've not got too many more. Okay, um, Kevin, Russ, what upcoming section are you looking forward to the most? The Sierras, for oh, sure. Yeah. I know. For sure. Yeah. The Sierras, I feel, is uh, with this epic snow year, it's um, it's the challenge everybody wants to know. It, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, What's yours? It's well, it, do you know what? Sure. I am looking forward to all of it, but the uh, aqueduct section, I think, is going to be really fun for some reason. Like, yeah. we're going to get glow sticks. And we got these new shirts. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I really want to see Northern California, Bernie yeah. Falls, Cascade. I sure I heard Mount Shasta was an amazing town. I love Crater Lake. I really want to show them to Bend, Oregon. Yosemite. Um, yeah, Yosemite. All of them. I don't all know. Every day is so different on trail. I think every day is amazing. Okay, this is for you all. If you could restart the PCT, what would you change? Unfortunately, not getting COVID isn't an option. <laughs> uh, I I wouldn't change anything. I would change one thing. I would say to not listen to comments and people's perception of the trail mm -hmm. for like fear mongering or, you know, ways to do the trail. I, was, I say just do, do what you want and, you know, go through with your plan. But that's, that's the only thing I would change. Anything? Oh. I've got a specific question for you. Oh, okay. Me? Yeah. Okay. Robert okay. says, what part of Ohio are you from? Cincinnati, the nasty natty. Okay. And then this one. Okay, did you and Julia, the adventure geek, ever meet? So me and Julia have been speaking for months. She's like the nicest person in the world. Um, we FaceTimed her. We did, we did. So FaceTimed we her. were supposed to be starting on the same day, but of course I had COVID, couldn't start. But we did eventually meet, and I nearly walked past her on the street in Idlewild. I didn't recognize her. She gave up and gave me a big hug. So we did meet, and I'm still determined to catch her, but she's flipping fast, so Slow I don't know down. if I will. But um, yeah, she's great. Good vortex. Yes, and if you don't know Coming about Julia's you. channel, Julia the Adventure Geek, she's also vlogging on YouTube, and she has a brilliant channel, so check her out. Okay, 
<laughs> have you seen any leprechauns <laughs> joking how are you liking america <laughs> so far me and my son plan a visit in ireland so you should definitely visit ireland um and no i have not seen any leprechauns but i'm gonna keep an eye out uh, and i'm loving america i think the people are just absolutely amazing um yeah absolutely loving it it's it's just blowing my mind so far like they're because someone's becoming a stupid other okay worst trail experience so far this is really easy for for me to answer because it's stuck in my brain and you all know it if you see my videos but the night oh, at Apache yeah. springs when i got so cold literally my hands are still not recovered and i was <laughs> sobbing into my quilt i was literally like <gasps> <laughs> them two, it's not funny it's not funny them, them she two was yeah it was awful i was in so much pain that's mine okay yeah i was there for that one you were, you witnessed that, that, yeah. cold, that i know what mine cold. is bees the bees i have not been stung in like 10 years but i was not mentally prepared to run and i just hear them just fucking laughing and then i throw oh, my, my back yeah, the bees was the best. Uh, but I'm over it now. It was funny now to look back. But in the moment, I was she just said, gonna come to Canada with nothing. She says she's over it, but every time we see a bee, it's like I'm terrified. Trauma. 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 They were my friends. Have you had a, a, a bad experience? All I gotta say is there hasn't been one bad experience Yay! for me. Yay! Here, but cheers on that. I'll. I, I'm taking all this. Love it. And no matter what, we're gonna have highs and lows. But yeah. man, it's—I I don't know who said it, but it's any better day at the office. Absolutely. A any day. Yeah, we've got a few more here. Okay. Right. Okay. So, how many other hikers do you meet a day? We'll fly through these because we're out of beer. Okay. Oh yeah. It, it depends on the section. I mean, sometimes you don't see a hiker. Like I thought that was your first. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was your first. <laughs> Why are you? Why is that her? <laughs> Because I'm a lady. Um, I don't think at all. So it depends. Sometimes you might see like you might see a trail family. It might be five to ten, but yeah. like you do see other PCT hikers most days. But yeah. it's not like yeah. you're not bumping into them. I would say but now though, weird, it's though. been thinned out. It has. It has. But like it's weird because two weeks. you'll see no one all day, and then you'll see like 20 people at camp. So you're like, yeah. where did these people come from? Yeah. Okay, next, right? Ash, keep zippy. You're doing great. Um, watch your old vids when you get uh when things get tough oh that's so nice thank you i am go with zippy okay <laughs> equipment for my future hike bidet mini electric pump or air mattress uh or for air mattress i can comment on the bidet it is a it is a really handy thing because you you get a wee bottle a wee squeeze clean bum <laughs> use less toilet paper i really like i really like it but even in like we're very like sweaty and hot some days i feel just like that clean. just is like I don't have one, but I feel like I'm jealous because yeah. I feel like it gets like all the sweat off you. It just feels like you have a wee clean. It's nice. And the, the mini electric air pump, I do know, <laughs> I think Julia took hers. So I had she one. actually, check out Julia's video. She talks all about uh, this air pump. It's actually not that heavy. I think it's like 80 grams. And I think a lot of people love them and they've got a light on them. So whatever, whatever floats your boat. But using the <laughs> pump sack hasn't been a problem for me and I would rather save the grams. Okay. What is the meaning behind each of your trail names? We've already answered that. Uh, any significant gear changes? Kind of already answered that. Yeah. My is mine's the tent. Um, what shoes do you recommend for the PCT, trail runners, boots? What do you all wear? Go. I mean, I changed from low top, non-waterproof shoes to mid top. <laughs> to mid top. We're gone. Like, you know, hi hiking boots, which I'm comfortable with, but I would say it's 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 your preference. It's really yeah. your preference, what you're used to. Yeah. Oh, you can go. Well, I'll, I'll say that I have been wearing Ultra Lone Peaks uh, sixes for 40 plus days, like 400 plus miles, and I don't have a single blister. And I used to struggle really bad with sore feet on hikes. These are the best decision I've ever made. These are zero drop. The, the, the two main shoes out here seem to be ultra lone peaks and the what do you call them hawkers yeah the hawkers. Yeah, they're the kind of the yeah. two and they're really different mm -hmm. because the hawkers are really padded high drop so high heel so whatever works for you try them out my personal preference is these and you're different i've never seen i them have yours. um solomon and i have the speed cross because i think they're very good with like foot pain at the top of the foot support and all that stuff but I get blisters, so I've tried everything on the sun. 
Yeah. Uh, different shoes, the toe socks. I have no idea, but I really, really like that I don't feel every rock with the Solomon's. You have a lot of blisters. I have a lot of blisters, does, but are, are I love the Solomon shoes though. They're so good. Okay, okay, we've only got like, right, four more. Okay, okay. we can do this. How are you liking your Zolo, Zolio device compared to others? I've seen with many with Garmin inReach. None of us have the Zolio one, but you might be referring to our friend that has one, so I can't comment on that, oh. um, but she seems to like it. I love, um, the, I love the Garmin. I like the Garmin too. Like for what I need it for, it's handy. Okay, mm. this is for all the gear that you started with. Is it working for you or did you send some back home? We basically answered yeah. that, but thank you for the question. Mm. Um, how mm. has the resupply been and water been so far? We've answered the resupply. Water, uh, there's lots of water on the street. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a, it's a wet year, high yeah. snow year, so yeah. water's not an issue. I think that's the one benefit this year is that we probably have water in yeah. locations water. like we now are like so spoiled that when we have to carry like three or four liters, we we bitch and complain. Yeah, we like one or two liters. Yeah, one Wait. and a half liters. Yeah, Ugh, we did have one day where we carried five liters. You one day, five. you did. You you were like, like yeah. yeah. He, but he water's so heavy. <laughs> he lived, lives life on the edge. Okay, I last question, more. everyone. Once you get to the Sierras, are there any plans to take the side trip to Summit Mount Whitney? It's yeah. uh, fourteen thousand five hundred feet. Absolutely flipping 100%. Yes. I have been, that's one of my things I'm looking forward to. If it's all clear, or it's not going to be clear, but if it's doable, it's easier. If it's Look, safe, crab tree safe, safe, safe is, is what she's yeah, saying. Yeah, safe, safe, safe. Yeah. If it's safe. And Lone Pine. Coming up from the crab tree from Guitar Lakeside yeah. is way easier than Lone Okay, he's, he's done it. He's I've done, done Mount I've never done it. It would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. here, well, look, that's us. And. Or but if you had to pick one favorite moment, yeah, do you guys have any? Oh, I'm throwing one question in there. Right now. Do you have one favorite moment so far? Your favorite day so far? Favorite every, night? Sunset? Every day. Oh, the sunset at the top of the, the Black, Black Mountain, Mountain Road. Road. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was really neat. We were but not expecting I mean, that campsite to be so wonderful. I, me personally, somebody in Baden Powell yeah, was, same. was, I mean. But you weren't there, so it can't yeah. be the best. <laughs> yeah. I was not there. I took the road walk. I'm this. That was a safer option for me. But, was crazy. but the road walk yeah. was amazing. I had the best day ever. It was cool. It was really apocalyptic. Yeah. And also, <laughs> <laughs> we got to shout in the tunnel. Oh. Yep. Well, we'll one. Say. I will say this. Our favorite day was when we just actually had a lot of fun on trail. After the hot springs, we shouted one hour into the spillway <laughs> dam. That was the case of the echoes. That echoed, and I know we we're so not five years old, but we recruited like fifteen to twenty hikers. And it was amazing. It was so much fun. I just think every day, there's not a day that's gone by that I haven't laughed so hard. I felt like peeing myself. Like literally every day has been so good. So. I think I might have peed myself yeah. a few times <laughs> laughing. And we're still about to pee ourselves <laughs> later today. Yeah, because we're Because it's not over. Because no. she's hilarious. And our trap family is the best. It is the best. That's why, <laughs> that's why we're Zeus is back. The vortex. All yeah. right, is that everything? That's everything. We're good. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we answered if you all to of those questions end. clearly. You all deserve a beer if you made it to the end. <clears throat> yes, and a shot.